What's up, rock stars? Today we are at 5.92 applications of exponential and natural logarithmic functions. And so today we'll look at, a, at an example of a natural log. A lot of the techniques are going to be the same. There's not really anything new per se about today except the fact that we're using a log base e instead of a log base 10. So check this out. We've got uh, here walking speed in a study by psychologists we found that the average walking speed, w, here is the output, is a function of population. So basically what they're saying is you've got the input here of number of people. This is in thousands, so 500,000, this 1,000, 1,000, 1, or a million. This is a million people mark, two million people mark here. So the input is in thousands of people, which I think is kind of, I don't know, I would choose to, I would choose differently. I would just put this at uh, the input to be millions of people. But that's not what we're working with here. The input is the population, and the output is how quickly they walk. So apparently, the more people you have, the more quickly you're going to walk. But it's not that straightforward. In that you would need say ten times. You, if you multiplied the population by ten, you would only add a certain uh, number of feet per second. So here you go, let's say you go like 10 times, let's see, here from here to here, you're multiplying by 10, and you're only adding a certain amount here. And then you multiply by 10 again, you'd add the same amount to get to the next, uh, you know, from, it goes from one to two, and then two to three, you'd have to multiply it by 10 again. If that doesn't make any sense, I can show you in class, on a, maybe in a table a bit better way. But let's just let's just find out what they're asking for. Parts A, you've got an input on Savannah, Georgia, and so and so then you can see here the input is 1.3, oh, 136.286 thousand people. It's a very strange unit uh, input, but uh, that would approximately amate to uh, 1.9 feet per second. Um, check this out, Philadelphia population of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania was, back in 2010, it was 1,526,006 people. And you might have been one of them. Yay. But uh, I just want, I did a little research. Um, I quickly Googled it and came back with, in 2017, the most recent number that they had at the time of this recording was that we're up to uh, 1,581,000. Just fun fact if you wanted to know. So does that mean that we're uh, walking slightly more quickly? I guess so by this, uh, you know, as as we increase people, we're getting slightly faster walking speed. Um, so anyway, let's just answer the question. B, we've got input of this. Notice the decimal is here because the the input, the, the units on the input is in thousands of people. So we have to move the decimal place over three times. And I want you to put into Maybe you can look at the graph, or you can look at your calculator and input this value into the function and get an answer out. That, that answer is going to be in feet per second, and I've already found the answer and converted it to miles per hour because that's a more familiar speed, units of speed. That's about two miles an hour. So if you're driving a car at two miles an hour, that's how, how quickly people walk. Although I will say that this is kind of, um, I don't know, I think, I think old people versus young people people of different cultures and races, uh, it's kind of hard to, to say that on an average everyone does this because there's so much variation in people. Let's just answer the question. C, it, here's the graph. I typed the f this function as you see it into the graph and zoomed out. Now notice, it, now if you do that you might get a, an incredibly flat line. What I did in order to get this really nice curve, and maybe you should practice this too on Desmos. It's a little easier than it is on uh, calculators, but you should be able to do both if you can. Um, I zoomed out not vertically, but horizontally. So this is 1, and this is 500. Make sure you know how to do a zoom like that, and if you can't, I'll, I'd love to show you. And now you can see the, the real true shape of the curve, like this. And it also, this particular zooming is able to capture the, the three points that, we're, that we eventually find when we finish the problem. Um, 
we did A, we did B, this is C. So part D says, uh, sociologists compute the average uh, walking speed in the city to be approximately two, two feet per second. Like they just, they measure people walking. They, they you know, they, and they, they average it to two. How many people uh, should be in the city? What we say is we, the output is 2.0 and we leave P um, undefined or just unevaluated. We don't have a value for this. And so you can subtract the 0 0.05 for both sides, divide both sides by 0.37 to isolating the natural log of P. That's the goal. Once you have it like this, you can rewrite it as an exponential equation. The, the power goes on the outside. This fraction is the exponent. You can type it all into your calculator. I think the best way to type it in is just once. Uh, type E parentheses 1.95 over 0 0.37. You're less likely to make a calculational mistake that way. And you get 194,000 people. Where is that on the graph? That's right here. So uh, if you have exactly people walking at exactly two feet per second on average, then that requires you to have 194,000 people. And there it is. That's one example of a, of a natural log function. You, you will see others in class today. Before we go, I wanted to let you know that uh, my kids just eat a ton of mac and cheese. That's one of their favorite lunches. Um, what's your favorite lunch, or, or what was it when you were uh, six years old, or two years old, or three years old? I want, I want you to tell me.